Hello friends, this is a video about the conflict between Israel and Hezbollah. Israel has been striking targets in Lebanon that they deem a national security risk. And um, finally, uh, Hezbollah wanted to retaliate. The IDF, that's the Israel um, forces, their army, they stopped this retaliation and saved lives. But this led to Prime Minister of Israel, Benjamin Netanyahu, making some strong comments. And I read, Hezbollah was playing with fire. This was a strong reply from him after the IDF stopped that attack. He also said any attack would be met with great force. He followed this up with saying, Hezbollah's leader Hassan is greatly mistaken about Israel's determination to defend itself, and Lebanon has paid a great price for that mistake. The Prime Minister also warned that Israel would hold responsible Hezbollah and Lebanon for any attack in the future that would be from uh, Lebanon into Israel. Hez he also said Hezbollah is doing Iran's bidding and harming. The alternative PM and Defense Minister Benjamin Gates or Gantz commended the IDF for stopping the attack and saving lives. He also said attacks on Israel would bring a powerful and sharp and painful response. But this one reply by him caught my eye. Israel's special security forces, excuse me, Israel's security forces and the IDF will continue to act anywhere it wants. I think that he was foreshadowing that even Iran ain't off limits. If Israel has to, they will strike targets there. In fact, a nuclear facility was hit in Iran, and no one is taking response for this. But I believe that Israel did this, and that Iran now is getting or sending supplies to Hezbollah and getting Hezbollah ready to attack Israel. That's usually Iran's um, response. And... Um, I believe you could see missile attacks coming from Lebanon in to Israel. And um, if that doesn't work, things could get escalated because Iran wants to stop Israel and um, get a message to them. We're the king of the north. So this could lead to future escalations and even a war. Sooner or later, we're going to see the prophecy of Damascus being destroyed. And um, uh Minister Jim Baker said Tel Aviv would be destroyed. The Lord showed him that. So we must pray for Israel that this conflict will be resolved in a nice, peaceful way. We don't want to see a war in the region that would lead to World War III. Thank you.